Hey everybody, welcome back to Bar TV. I'm Princess Fiona and I'm here today at Shrek's Adventure London. Now normally I spend my time hanging out with Shrek in his swamp, but we've come into a little bit of a problem. Those pesky witches have cast a spell over the whole swamp and dried everything out. But not to worry, I've come up with a plan to fix everything. But I'm gonna need your help. So what we're gonna be doing today is making a model of Shrek's swamp and a potion to bring everything back to life. So before we get started, always make sure you've got a grown-up's help. Okay, so to make our model, what you're gonna need is a shoebox lid, just like this one here. This is gonna form the base of our swamp. You're gonna need a juice bottle. This is gonna be the base of our tree. Also, you're gonna need some plasticine. We're gonna mold this to make the different things in the swamp. Perfect. You're also gonna need some tissue paper, just like this one here some PVA glue, some paint, and last but no means least, some paintbrushes. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna paint our shoebox lid. Now, this is gonna be the base of our swamp, so we're gonna wanna paint it green. Now, don't worry if you don't have green like I don't. We can make the green out of blue and yellow. So, what we're gonna need is just another cup or something to mix it in. Like I've got this one here. And then what we do is we just pour a little bit of blue into the cup, like that. And then a little bit of yellow into the cup as well. And then we'll just mix it together. And you wanna mix it all in, and you can see it's going green. Now, don't worry if it's too dark, like this is a little bit dark. You can just add a little bit more yellow, and that'll lighten it up. And if it's too light, add a little bit more blue, and that'll make it darker. Okay, so now we have the perfect green. It is time to paint our shoebox lid. So just get a little bit of paint on the brush, and you just want to paint the lid. Now it might take a couple of coats to cover fully, but not to worry. Just keep going over it until you've got a really nice base green. And what we'll do is we'll pop this aside to dry, and we'll come back to it later and add some detail. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be making is the tree. So it's going to end up looking a little bit like this. So what you're going to need is, you're going to grab your juice bottle, just like this one here. Take off the lid and you can recycle this. So put that in the recycling. And then you've got your bottle. So take your brown plasticine like this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to slowly layer up the brown plasticine around the bottle. And that's going to give us the base of our tree. So you just want to flatten it a little bit and stick it around the top of the bottle. So you can just push it down with your thumb like this and it spreads further down. There we go. And just slowly layer it up, covering the whole bottle until it looks something like this. Now, as you can see on this one here, there's like a texture to the tree and that's what makes it look like bark. So we're gonna do that with a pencil once we've got a little bit more plasticine on this one here. Okay, so now we're gonna get started on our decorations. So first off, we're gonna make our leaves. So you wanna grab your green plasticine. Now what you wanna do is just take a little pinch of the plasticine between your fingers and pinch it together really hard in between your fingers and just shape the bottom of the leaf by doing this. And you can see a little oval shape makes a little leaf and then just pop that right onto your tree, like so. And then you can repeat that several times, making the leaves climb all the way up the tree. And now we're going to move on to making our toadstools. So, for the toadstools, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the white plasticine and just take a little bit off. And you want to just roll that into a sausage shape. Roll it into a little sausage between your finger and your thumb. There we go. And then put that to one side for a second. Then you want to grab the red plasticine and just grab a little bit of that. And we're going to roll this into a ball for the top of our toadstool. So you can do that between your two hands like this. Just roll it between, there we go, like this. And then take your white sausage that you made before and just stick it like so. And then what we wanna do is we wanna decorate this with the white spots. So grab the white plasticine, you only want a tiny little bit, roll it between your fingers and just pop that on the top. Okay, so that's your tree finished. So what we're gonna do now is go back and add some more detail to the base of our swamp. So just pop your tree to one side, and then you wanna grab the base of your swamp. Make sure it's dry before you start, and then you can add some more detail to the front. So as you can see here, I painted some little toadstools on the front, and then we're gonna add the bushes. So for the bushes, what you wanna do is just grab your tissue paper, 
like this. You don't need a lot, just rip a little bit off. This is the fun part, like that. Scrunch it up in your hands into a ball, like this. And you can see it makes like a little bush shape like this. And then you can grab a couple, two or three. You can use different shades of green and then you wanna just dip them into the PVA glue, like this. You don't need a lot of glue. And then just stick that into the base of your swamp to make little bushes, like that. Okay, so that's the base of our swamp finished. So you wanna grab the tree you made before. We'll pop that right in the middle there. And as you can see as well, I've got a little model of myself and Shrek here living in the swamp. So that's everything finished for the swamp. And now we're gonna move on and make our potion to bring it all back to life after those pesky witches dried it out. As you can see, I've cleared away all the things we used to make the swamp. So I've got room for my potion ingredients. But first, because we are making a potion, you wanna always safety first, wear your safety goggles. So have those to hand. Now for your magic potion, what you're gonna need is some vinegar, some bicarbonate of soda, some green food coloring. I know it doesn't look very green, but I promise you it is. You want some warm water, just like this here, and also some washing up liquid. And finally, what you'll need is a funnel, just like this one here. Okay, so it's now time to make our magic potion. So we've got all our ingredients ready. So remember, grab your grown-up to help you first, safety first, and grab your safety goggles. So I'm gonna pop mine on here. Bet you've never seen a princess in goggles, huh? Perfect, so first things first, grab your funnel, pop that in your tree, like so. And the first ingredient we're gonna put in is the bicarbonate of soda. So you just wanna grab that here, pour it into your funnel, like that, and pop the cup to one side. You just might wanna shake your funnel just to get it all in the bottle there. Make sure you hold your tree. There we go. And next, we're gonna mix the green food coloring, the warm water, and the washing up liquid together in the cup. So we can pour it all into this cup. So in goes the green food coloring, like that. Then we're gonna pop in the warm water, all together like so. And you can just grab a paintbrush and just mix that all together first. Okay, there we go. And now we're gonna pour this into our funnel, into our tree. So pour that in there. Perfect. There we go. And now it's time for the final ingredients. So take out your funnel, pop that to one side. Now this is the magic ingredient. This is what's gonna bring Shrek Swamp back to life. Okay, so you're ready? Don't forget, grab your grown-up, get them to film you. You can share it and you can watch it back. Okay, so grab your vinegar and then we're gonna pour that into our tree, okay? Are you ready to bring Shrek Swamp back to life? I know I am. Let's go. And there we go, guys. We have brought Shrek Swamp back to life. Did you know it's British Science Week? Why don't you have a go at making your own magical swamp at home? Don't forget to ask for an adult's permission and let us know if you do have a go at the experiment here at Shrek's Adventure London.